Clean room disinfection is an important part of strategic contamination control. We recommend daily disinfection with a routine disinfectant that covers the basic effectiveness. In addition, we recommend a sporocidal disinfectant once a week. The final timing of decontamination measures should be determined with the help of an internal risk assessment. If possible, place your cleaning trolley so that you do not have to move it much, if at all. In this example, a precise dosing system is used to prepare the mop covers on demand. First, you use your mop frame to activate the dosing system. Now, open your mop frame touchless to pick up a clean mop cover. To prepare your mop textile for the disinfection process, soak the mop cover with a predefined amount of liquid. In this example, a reusable microfiber mop is soaked with a liquid quantity of 400 milliliters. The quantity you should use always depends on the area of use, textile, chemistry, and floor. Before you start mopping, it is important to plan your procedure. Mentally divide the room to be mopped into areas. Plan your wiping areas so that you can reach the entire surface with smooth movements. The optimum wiping width is determined by your own body and about half an arm's length to the left and right. When planning your space, also think about when and where you want to change the mop. To avoid contamination carryover, the wiping process is carried out from clean to unclean. Start at the furthest point in your room. This way, you avoid the danger of having to enter an already disinfected area and carry over contamination. At the same time, this procedure gives you the security of not forgetting an area. Start your disinfection process by wiping along the edges of the floor. Make sure you use the correct technique for wiping out corners. If you have any obstacles in your clean room, make sure to wipe the floor under and around. Wipe empty floor area after you've cleaned the edges. 1. Wipe backwards in overlapping paths. 2. Always maintain the same direction of travel of the mop cover. 3. Make sure to mop evenly to avoid wetting gaps. 4. Work in smooth movements to prevent air turbulence. Once you have completely wetted the first area, you can drop your used wiping textile on your cleaning trolley without touching it. A clue to changing your mop textile is the liquid discharge. If the mop runs sluggishly and or shows a broken film of liquid on the floor, it is time to change it at the latest. Pick up a new mop cover as planned and soak it with a predefined amount of liquid. And you can start wiping and disinfecting the next floor area. Just as there are special techniques for wiping disinfection of floors, there are also special techniques for ceilings, walls, and surfaces. If you're interested in learning more about how to do proper clean room disinfection, Follow us on YouTube and LinkedIn.